admission requirements to enter the process. For law school graduates, the academic requirements for applying to and entering the lawyer licensing process are as follows. Graduation from a common law program offered by a university in Canada, approved by convocation. Upon successful completion of an approved common law program, the candidate will receive a Bachelor of Laws, LLB, or a Juris Doctor degree, a JD. In most accredited law schools, the minimum length of the common law program is three academic years or a certificate of qualification from the National Committee on Accreditation, the NCA. Graduates of international or non-accredited Canadian law schools must apply to the NCA to have their legal education credentials evaluated before they can enter the Law Society of Ontario's lawyer licensing process. Information on the process may be reviewed on the NCA's website. The NCA is a standing committee of the Federation of Law Societies of Canada. It is made up of representatives from the Committee of Canadian Law Deans, members of the practicing bar, and members involved with the administration of provincial law societies. The committee evaluates the legal training and professional experience of persons with foreign or non-common legal law credentials who seek admission to a bar in Canada. Once a file is assessed by the NCA, an applicant may be asked to complete one or more exams or attend the, and complete specific law school courses within a prescribed time frame. Upon successful completion of these requirements, the NCA issues a certificate of qualification. The NCA may also refuse a certificate of qualification and, with or without a recommendation of advanced standing, require the candidate to graduate from an approved Canadian law school program. For application forms and further information, please visit the NCA's website. All persons who seek to be licensed to practice law as a lawyer in Ontario must apply to be registered in the Law Society of Ontario's lawyer licensing process. Applicants to the lawyer licensing process are not required to be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident of Canada. The application process is the starting point for the lawyer and paralegal licensing process. We will run through some of the high level information about the application process and things to keep in mind when you apply. To begin the application process, go to lso.ca, click on becoming licensed and select either the lawyer or paralegal licensing process. There you will see an application for admission link and an apply now button at the bottom of the page. All documents and information referenced can be accessed from this becoming licensed page. And we encourage everyone to bookmark this section of the website as it is a gateway to most of the information you'll require throughout the licensing process. For those who have not yet applied, you are encouraged to go to the website and first review the admission requirements section. A key document to access while applying online is the completing the lawyer or paralegal licensing process application document, which outlines many of the things to be aware of or items to have accessible while you are applying. This document will take you through all of the details on admissions and what is expected after the application process. The application itself is a two-part process. Part one consists of the online entry of your information and payment of the application fee. Once that is completed, you move on to part two, which consists of the actual paper copy submission of your application. This part has to be certified before it is submitted to the Law Society's Licensing and Accreditation Department. When you apply online, you'll be required to not only enter your personal contact information and legal name, but also select an examination sitting and specify when you expect to graduate, what experiential training path you intend to complete, whether you intend to apply for an examination accommodation, et cetera. You'll also be required to answer a section regarding what the Law Society refers to as good character and provide any necessary supporting documents in support of your answers. For more information on the good character process, please see the website. You can also preview the good character questions before you apply online by reviewing the good character amendment form 
under the Fees and Forms section of the website. The form includes all the good character questions and answers that you should disclose to the Law Society at the point of application and thereafter if anything changes while you progress through the licensing process. The application itself takes about 20 to 30 minutes to enter online. Once you finish part one of the application and pay the application fee online, you'll be assigned a Law Society online account. This account is what you will log into to print out the PDF application file the system generated for you in order to submit it to the Law Society and complete part two of the application process. Your personal and confidential online account is where examination results and invoices for fee payments will be sent. It will also be where you will be sent information on how and when to select your specific exam date and time slot from the examination provider. It is recommended that you check this account weekly once you apply and even more regularly once you're starting to prepare for an examination or for lawyer candidates starting to prepare for the commencement of your experiential training and up to the time you are licensed. Communication from the Law Society will primarily be through your online account and the website. Once you've accessed and printed the PDF file of your application from your online account, begin collecting all of the required supporting documentation to complete part two of the process. You are required to check both the information sent to your online account and the information on the Law Society website, such as information on the Dates to Remember page, and the licensing and examinations page, which set out information on responsibilities, deadlines, and timelines for candidates. The application is available each year, usually in the fall. The deadline to submit the application and the supporting documentation and to pay the application fee is typically in December of each year. Candidates can continue to apply after December, but will have to pay a late application fee. Candidates who apply after the deadline may be unable to enroll in their preferred examination sitting. If anything is missing from your application, the staff in the licensing and accreditation department will advise you via your online account once your application and supporting documents are received and processed. Once you've fully applied, you'll start to receive information on timelines, examinations, study material availability, invoicing, payment of fees, and for lawyer candidates, important information regarding experiential training. If you have any questions, please contact the Licensing and Accreditation Department.